Mindflow ergonomics is design engineering your life through processes that you can control and you can dictate. I wish I knew that after 40 years of working in the marketplace that we have now the means of disrupting what is called emotional memories that take their residence at the back of the brain which is called the cerebellum and by means of certain procedures and certain maneuvers you can disrupt those memories. It's all about living the abundant life. It's all about living the life that you want and you can be the architect of that decision. Now, mind flow takes you from what it is to be an outstanding intellectual to becoming what is called a creative genius. We are all intellectuals and we are all outstanding in the marketplace. But mind flow ergonomics takes you from that being an outstanding individual and intellectual to becoming a genius. We have the genie inside of all of us that if we all know how to bring it out, we can be creative geniuses, masterminds of our own mind. So I want to encourage you that once you understand the design process, how to hack the codes, you know, I, I believe very strongly that the mindful language that we talk about today is very much a coded language. And if you know how to hack those codes, we can design our life the way we want it. Two things which are, crea which are really, really the very basic understanding is number one, your beliefs. And number two, the mindset. So I never think of setting your mind in a way that you need to go. It's about mind flow. How do you create that life which just flows? So you fix it in your mind and then you take it to your heart. So mindfulness is simply being aware in the present moment because there is power. And in that moment, take it down to your heart and live from your heart, which is the manifestation of all that you believe and think and say. So we can be creatively geniuses in our workplace, in the marketplace. And we can move away from all those past memories we can move away from all those disturbing thoughts that have built a narrative that tells us that we are limited by what we can do, think and say. So I want to encourage all of us to live that full life, which I call the abundant life. And together, you know, being even though it's a Sunday, but together we can think right, uh, intelligently and live fullest and understand that there are better ways to living the abundant life.